All right, so this is for problem number three. So I'm going to write three up here just to remind us which one we're on. Um, this problem is, of course, going to use the solution to problem number two, which used the solution to problem number one. Um, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to use our least common denominator, as we found in problem number two, in order to do something called building the higher term. So we're going to be adding 9 fourths and 1 56th. So what we need to do <clears throat> is we need to, first of all, put our least common denominator. We found that to be 616 over here and 616. Now it's really useful to have your prime factorization and your least common multiples um, prime factorization as well in order to help you with this process. So we found that this was 2 times 2 times 2 times 7 and then times 11. And that was 216. Now 44 was 2 times 2 times 11. So what we see is we see that we have 2 and 2 and 2 and 2 and we have 11 and 11. So what's missing to make the least common denominator is 2 times 7 or 14. So in other words, if I multiply this by 14, then I will make 216. So what I do to the denominator, I must also do to the numerator. I multiply by 14, I multiply by 14. So 14 times 9, so 9 times 14, so 9 times 4 is 36, carry the 3, 9 plus 3 is 12. So the new numerator now is 126, that's our higher term. So now we're going to do the same thing with 56. 56 was 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to find out what we have here. So there's 2, 2, and 2. So 2, 2, and 2. And then we have 7. So there's the 7. So the only thing that's missing this time around is the 11. So 56 times 11 is what's going to give us 616. And so we can multiply by 11 in the numerator as well. What you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. Multiply 56 by 11, get 16. Multiply 1 by 11, you get 11. Now we have built the higher terms and we're ready to add. To add fractions, you carry along that common denominator. So 616 gets carried along. And then we add the numerators. So 126 and 11 get added together. So 6 and 1 make 7, and 2 and 1 make 3, and then 1 and nothing is 1. So we have 137. Now the other cool thing about having our least common um, multiple here in terms of um, prime factorization is I can look at all these values here and I can say, well, if I need to be able to reduce this to put it in lowest terms, it would have to be divisible by 2, 2, or 2, 2, or 7, or 11. So I know that this is not divisible by 2 because it doesn't end in something that's even. If it's divisible by 7, we could try that, right? 7 goes into uh, 13 just one time, and then it would have 6 left over, and then 67, nope, seven's not going to go into that. And then 11, if it's divisible by 11, so 11 goes into 13 once with 2 left over, and it doesn't go into 27. So since none of those factors that are a part of 616 are factors here, I know that this is my final answer for my um, for my fraction. So my final answer is 137 sixteenths.